Jane Harrington here with Calamity Stampede. I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! and I'm having my own workshop right now. You are cordially invited. So let's get right into it. Today we are talking about tea, blending your own tea and what to do with it. Okay, so you've seen me stamp in some of my other videos, so you, if you've watched those videos, you have a general idea of how to stamp. In this video, I'm not going to be stamping. I'm going to be showing you what you can do with these stamps. So, Stampin' Up! right now has copper tea tins on page 15. They coordinate with the Tea Room Suite. They're $15 for four tins, and you can see they're a good size. You're going to fit a lot of good blended tea in here. You could also put tea bags in there to store your tea bags. So they come blank like this for you to stamp and customize. I'll show you what I have done with three of them. So here's one, and you'll notice that I was using the Tea Room Specialty Designer paper for the background, and I used the... Uh, the whole tea room suite, the time for tea, and the coordinating big shot dies to design this with some of the coral 1 8 inch sheer ribbon that I talked about before. I'll include all the supplies in the link so that you will know where to find them. And you'll notice these adorable little butterflies here. These were free. They're in a celebration. Um, if with every $50 you spend, you get to choose a free stamp set or item. And these uh, little wood chip or, or um, chipboard uh, laser cut butterflies were part of that free celebration promotion. So there's one idea for you. And you notice I wrapped all the way around. Now the other idea, this particular one uses the same ribbon and it uses also the Time for Tea set and I used the stitched oval from the Big Shot um, die in the stitch shapes that I talked about in my last video and so this is just another way to do it and I, these are all uh, coordinating with the the Big Shot set uh, you can buy that in a bundle it's also on page 15 the Time for Tea stamp set and Spot of Tea framelit dies in a bundle. You can get them separately as well. That's a very simple way to, to do it. And here's another version. So this says, Love is a Warm Cup of Tea. Now this one is from Tea Together from the Occasions Catalog on page 49. And the Big Shot dies are part of the celebration special. I was able to easily cut these out with the Big Shot die. And um, you notice these are from Stitched Shapes as well. So again, I'll include all of the page numbers and links for you if you want to order any of those. So it's the same concept. Um, I watercolored this in right here uh, using a blender pen and some of the Brusho Crystal Color. And I'll talk about that later as well. So you'll notice though, I made a boo-boo. When I was cutting this, I measured wrong and I left off something on the back, but it's no problem because using the Memories and More card pack, um, the Tea Room Memories and More card pack, I took one of the um, cards and I cut it down to size and I wrote my own wellness tea and that's what I would put in this one. And so to simply cover up my mistake I'm going to use my mono adhesive, throw some mono adhesive on here, and there, not only have I covered up my mistake, but it has the instructions. So when I give this tea as a gift to someone, they're going to know how to make it. Pretty neat, huh? Okay. The other thing I wanted to show you was I was at the Dollar Tree the other day, and they had these adorable little glass jars. And, you know, normally you would put candy or something in them, but I thought, why not tea? So, I just stamped up a quick little uh, cover for the lid. See, the lid unscrews, and you can put your tea right in there. That would make an adorable gift for somebody. So, that's another idea for you. Now, what I'm going to do now, rather than stamp, since you already know how to stamp at this point, I'm going to show you how to blend a simple tea that you can include in your tea tins. So you can make tea out of anything. I'm, I'm talking anything. If you like hibiscus tea, you can use hibiscus and, and brew your own tea. We're gonna use some white tea 
to start. This is our white tea base. It's organic. I got this from our local Honey and Spice health food store. So I'm just going to put a few spoonfuls into a clean dry bowl so that I'm going to use the white tea as our base because I love the mild mellow flavor of white tea. Now you could leave it that way but it is so beautiful and aromatic when you add additives. This is orange peel. Again, I got all of these at our local health food store. Most of your local areas will have a health food store. Now, I eyeball it. You don't want to overdo. You see how beautiful it's looking already? Just adding a little bit of the orange peel, add a little bit more, and it's going to give it a nice zing, a nice citrusy zing to it. The next thing I love to add to my tea are rose hips. You see there? Seedless rose hips. So, I'm going to put... A little bit more than a spoon. I, I eyeball all my teas because when you start mixing them and blending them, look how beautiful they look. And I wish you could smell. I know you can't smell, but you can use your imagination to see what this smells like. Elderberries are wonderful. Everybody makes elderberry syrup, but you can also brew them in your teas. So I'm going to add a little elderberry. There's going to be a lot of aromatics a lot of color in this tea. This is red rosebuds and petals. They make a gorgeous, beautiful tea. Look how pretty that is looking. You can also make your own potpourri this way, but we are making tea and I guarantee it, you are gonna love sitting under the morning sunrise sipping on this tea because it is so aromatic and it is so flavorful. Now this is one of my favorite flavors, hibiscus. I'm going to add some hibiscus in here. Hibiscus has quickly become one of my favorites. And again, you could just use hibiscus as a tea all on its own. So there you go. Look how pretty that is looking. And it smells divine. So the last thing I'm going to throw in here are some, is some marigold. This beautiful yellow marigold. I'm just going to throw some of that in and eyeball it. I'm going to blend that by hand. Look how beautiful my tea is right there. So we're going to come back to one of our tea tins, which I've already cleaned before I started uh, stamping on it. And we're going to put some of our tea blend right into our tea tin. Can you see that there? So you see, this tea tin is going to hold a lot of tea. So I'm just going to hustle along here. So this is a beautiful little gift to give to someone. You can make up a wellness tea. You can make any kind of tea you want and just throw it in there. And that is a gorgeous gift. And again, you're going to get four of these for $15. So if you do the math, that does not cost much. And it is a very heartfelt gift and you're telling someone that you want them to be healthy and to be comfortable. And maybe give them one of these with your favorite book, and there you go. Wonderful little gift for Easter, for Mother's Day, for just to say I love you. Maybe to say I get well. So if you have any questions, um, give me a buzz. You can leave your questions in the comments, or you can email me at tumbleweedcrossing at gmail.com. Or you can go to my Facebook page. Again, I'll leave all of those links in the, um, in the video link. So um, I will see you in the next video.